Anytime that he wants to reveal himself and to demonstrate his power, he allows certain things to come. He allows some storm to come. He allows some, some earthquakes to come in your life. He allows you to enter into the wilderness at the back of the wilderness so that at the back of the wilderness, God will demonstrate his power to you. Amen. So don't you worry what you are going through. The wilderness journey is about to end. The wilderness struggle is about to end. Soon and very soon, you will cross to the promised land. Hallelujah. So the thirst and the hunger and the snake bites and the frost bites and all that is just but for a season. A season because God has chosen you. He knows your heart. He knows your heart. It's not about your beauty and God not choose you because you are beautiful. No. Because you are academically good. No. Your academics, can, I mean, has nothing to do with the ministry. It has nothing to do with the calling of God. With the calling of God. Otherwise, the Peters and the, and the, the Johns would not have been chosen. But God chose them. And the same way God has chosen you. Hallelujah. Somebody can be a sweeper in the church and he might be the choice of God. And not you, you know, who hail yourself as if you are the boss of Christianity. You are not. You are nothing. You are nothing. So the Bible says that Samuel went to Saul and reprimanded him that this is what you have done. And as a result of that, God has removed his hand from you. He has taken you away from the throne. Even though God took his son, so control to rule for so many years, but not by the power and the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. So God can take his son off of off us, but still we, people will see us as Christians, as believers, going up and down, worshiping every Sunday, singing every Sunday, but we are out of what? Fellowship and relationship. See, God is so merciful. He's so merciful and so compassionate. And that is why sometimes even when we err, eh, we make mistakes. Out of that mistakes, he tries to glorify himself. And that's why he told the people of Israel that even though you have sinned against me, but I'll bring back you back to the land, not because of you, but because of my name's sake. For my name's sake. So sometimes God allows our stupidity and our, our, our mistakes and our errors to go on and he delivers from it, not because of us, but because of his name. Hallelujah. Because of his name. Because he has put his name upon us. And that's what the Bible says, that if my people are called by my name, we are called by his name. See, we are called by God's name. So anything, any time that we, 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 we try to go wayward, he, he, it pains him, it hurts him. So he tries to bring, bring us back. And when God tries to bring us back, let us be flexible in hands to come back to the ancient landmark and to the ancient path. Because if you force a plant to straighten up and it's not flexible, it will break. And that's why sometimes we believers, we break down. God breaks us down because we are, we are not flexible enough for him to turn us back to the ancient path. He always try and do whatever he can do to bring us back. 